I'm gonna take a huge risk right now and do something that I probably shouldn't do. You guys already know I have a strike if you follow my channel, um, along with a lot of other YouTubers because of some recent BS and live performances are very sketchy. But I don't wanna just sit here and stare at the lyrics. Um, although don't expect me to not do that in the future because I like checking out lyrics and I will check out lyric videos if there are no music videos. But I'm gonna take the risk of watching the live performance with you guys. It's might not be the smallest thing, especially because I already have a strike, but I'm making a very naive assumption, and that's that this is uploaded to Epic High's YouTube channel. There are no, like, Mnet, like, what do they call them? What are those things called? Water, watermarks, whatever you want to call them. The logo for these companies, like SBS, KBS, anywhere. There's none of that on the screen. So I'm assuming, if anything, I'm going to deal with YG, and they're going to claim it. And it also says it's from the WDSD concert. And I looked up WDSD. And I think that's Epic High's album. So this is a concert for Epic High, which I assume didn't just get broadcast on regular network. And it's probably all owned by YG. I'm going off that stupid, naive thought, that naive notion. And I'm going to go ahead and react to this. If it has to get taken down, it sucks. And I'll let you know what I thought in my breathe reaction that I'll do after this because I don't want to do them both in the same video Even though I do that for a lot of artists Because if this gets taken down you by default lose out on a breathe reaction So I have not checked out breathe yet, and I'm gonna check it out right after this you guys also told me that this is in English So shouldn't need a lyric video, right? I hope it's like I honestly hope this doesn't get taken down I hope I don't get a strike for it. We can take it down, whatever. If I get a strike for it. By the way, I'm like trying to get these like new lights so like I can not have to turn off the lights and do that thing that I've been doing with videos recently. Cause I like really getting in the mood. Oh my goodness. Oh. I like really getting in the mood with like the lights dimmed. I know I said she reminds me of like Amy Winehouse, but I'm getting mad like Rihanna vibes right now. Oh my god. 
goodness, I like that whole part right there. Fucking song, the fuck I that song, like I told you, like originally I told you she kind of reminds me of like Amy Winehouse, but this song I think I kind of like changed it a little bit. She she definitely gives me Rihanna vibes. And what's crazy that what solidified that is because this felt like when I heard them singing together and I heard like the type of rap. I already told you when I first listened to Tableau, that was like oh like his uh, references and stuff like that. It reminded me a little bit of like how Eminem does his stuff like. He like does world his wordplay and everything, and I just now like she gave me vibes of Rihanna, and then all I could think I was thinking of was like um what I was thinking of was uh what's the song Love the Way You Lie, like it was like vibes of Love the Way You Lie, but it's like not similar at all. It's just like her vocals reminded me of Rihanna, and then his rapping and like his style of rapping like it's like it feels so familiar to me that it just gave me vibes. I know I keep saying that I'm gonna check out Epic High. Last time, obviously, it's been a really long time since I checked out full on Epic High. And I know there's a lot, there's actually one particular album people are telling me to check out. Um, I'm gonna try and get like my whole little setup because I, I do wanna have this whole like vibe thing. I wanna like make sure I'm in the mood. Like I got blackout curtains, so now no matter what time of day, I just have like a pretty dark room. I'm gonna get my lights set up. And when I, cause when I check out albums, I just want to feel like I'm chilling, you know. Like I don't want to feel like I'm forcing it. I'm like, hey, I'm not doing anything. I want to listen to some new music. Let me sit here and just sit here and react to the album. I'll just make something to eat like I did for the Outcome album and whatnot. But definitely, hopefully, this could stay up. The way I see it, this is live. Like it says live. But Mama Moo, I reacted to a Mama Moo song that was technically the music video for that song. But it was at a concert of theirs. Like, it was at a Mamamoo concert. So, this doesn't say that this is the music video for this song. But, I'm going to take it at, is a, it's essentially the same thing. So, hopefully it's safe. Let's hope and pray it doesn't go down. Let's just cross our fingers and hope it's all good. But that was a dope ass song. A lot of these songs I pick on the spot. But, most of them is like... I'd like to, I do have a lot of them at the back of my mind, you know, like this song was one that I had in the back of my mind because you guys have told me to check it out for a while now. Um, but for Epic High, apart from the fact that there's the album that you guys want me to check out, I don't have any specific songs for this week. So since they're on the list, leave me some specific Epic High suggestions or Tableau suggestions and I'll definitely check them out when it comes to time. And I'm going to check out Breathe next. Keep an eye for that because normally it would have been like right after this, but I didn't want to mix it up just in case it was an issue. So we here. Epic High is dope. That song was dope. Tableau's dope. Lehigh's voice is nice as shit. That was just dope all around. 